the Illuminati situation gets worse. For years to come, from being a respected YouTuber with over a million subscribers, what? to becoming one of the most hated creators in YouTube history. Since uploading my last two videos on her, which amassed 4 million views collectively, a lot has changed. She's been exposed by Penguin Zero, abandoned her YouTube channel, and is possibly running a secret channel. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and Hi. today we'll be looking into the aftermath and most recent updates surrounding Illuminati, aka Blair. Talk Up until March 2023, Blair enjoyed a successful career on YouTube, averaging roughly 8 million views per month and amassing over 1.7 million subscribers in her prime. However, all came crumbling down when she began to show her true colors. After idiotically starting a drama with Legal Eagle over alleged stolen editing styles, yeah, it's crazy Lewis because like, to look deeper into bitch, her. it's crazy because like, if she didn't do that tweet, then who knows how long it would have been before she like before all of her crazy antics were caught up to her, you know? The history and what they found was morbid to say the least. The stain on her otherwise good image gave the confidence to others who were affected by her obsessive and manipulative behavior to speak out. With allegations ranging from legal threats and attempts at censoring other creators to manipulating her employee into signing himself into debt with her. This would not only lead to me creating two videos breaking down the situation, but also a video by the most popular YouTube commentator, Penguin Zero, who would have eventually create a video of his own what? to shed light on her problematic behavior and I'm downfall. I'm finally talking about her. This is I think a video I saw this, that actually. is long, I think I saw this. Long, long overdue, but I still just feel talk the to need her. to talk to me, Moisty. mention the Illuminati situation. Throughout the video, Charlie would share her drama with Legal Eagle as well as cover her general downfall story. Never seen a channel go from as popular as she is to where she is now. I know it started when she accused Legal Eagle of plagiarizing her editing style, got biblically fucking clowned on for it, and then from there a ton of people came forward revealing how toxic and mean she is behind the scenes. But other than that, I haven't dove into like the five or six hours worth of cumulative, like, trash she has done. However, Charlie would also make one key prediction on the future of her career. I think Illuminati will oh, continue yes. this trajectory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw this. Three saw for this. maybe six more months tops. After that, she's going to start another channel using an AI voice model in order to keep doing these same kind of videos, but start fresh and hope and hope people don't connect her to it. With Charlie's prediction in mind, let's take a look at what actually happened to her channel. From yep. the moment Blair posted her widely criticized apology video, her channel began to deteriorate rapidly. Although the video was intended to address the controversy and clear her name, it was perceived as insincere and deflective. Of failing course. to address the Bro, of course, bro. She didn't stand on it. She should have stood on it. And I don't know why people don't stand on it, bro. Or issues raised it's by her simple. critics. This poor response significantly damaged her reputation, alienating a large portion of her audience who gave her the benefit of the doubt. Despite <laughs> attempting to maintain easy. a regular upload schedule, her content fun. quality and viewership were clearly in decline. <laughs> Videos that once easily clicks. garnered 300,000 views struggled to break 30k, and the comment section of her videos became full of criticism until she decided to turn off comments altogether. To make matters no, we haven't seen this yet. even worse, this is, this is an update on the situation. This like to like ratio on her videos further displayed what the YouTube community thought about her existing on the platform. Many of her remaining viewers watched out of curiosity rather than genuine interest, waiting to see if she would address the ongoing criticism. However, on the 16th of February 2024, she published her final video, marking over 100 days since her last upload. Numerous YouTubers have since speculated that Blair had finally abandoned her channel and left it in the dust, but that doesn't mean she's become inactive in other areas. Areas. Despite Blair destroying her career with her- Me personally, I'm probably moving to Rumble. Me personally. Her own actions. I, I don't think Rumble got no type of people who make like documentary style videos, bro. Like me personally, I'm getting a Rumble deal. She still blames others for what happened and currently seeks revenge by any means necessary. Oh. Thanks to the YouTuber Mad Cat Star would get a glimpse of how far Blair was willing to go to get her revenge. Around December 2023, when Blair was trying to foreclose on Osmedia's home, she also filed a lawsuit against him, Wonderstruck, and Felix the Kit Kat, an individual she once hired to dig up dirt on the click and later hired. The basis of the lawsuit was that these three individuals 
individuals had somehow breached a confidentiality agreement while under Blair's employment and were now defaming her. In the amended version, Blair's attorney wrote, All the defendant's confidentiality agreements contain language pertaining to the employee's understanding that, by entering the confidentiality agreements, they are obligated to, and plaintiff's goal is to, protect his confidential propriety information and ensure that all employees agree to maintain confidentiality of redacted information. The document mostly recounted Blair's history with all the defendants and stated that their videos or information shared about her were defamatory and had damaged her company. In Felix's case, he had only shared screenshots about what Blair had asked him to do, but that was enough for Blair to malicious. He had only shared screenshots about what Blair had asked him to. I mean, life is nothing, but things I can do. I need you to work with me to help me find clicks and hard arsler and says <laughs> Rod. This is, uh, I can't remember which one she's over her head, which I'll pay you two hundred dollars to find it. Mm, two hundred will help quite a bit. To do, but that was enough for Blair to maliciously sue him. Type with the document reading oh, regarding these messages, defendant Felix edited selectively picked messages to create the appearance that Miss Blair made statements that she did not. There were two major issues with Blair's claims here. One. The conversation in question was from 2020, a year before Felix signed this opposed confidentiality agreement. Oh, GG. And two, Felix only presented personal communication and not company-specific information. Blair's lawsuit was built on weak arguments and relied on vague language to support her claims. A good example of this was when Blair's lawyer referenced Wonderstruck's video on her, reading, Defendant Wonderstruck created a 1 hour and 20 minute video with Defendant Oz where both defendants make the following claims. That Miss Blair stole Defendant Wonderstruck's car, that Miss Blair committed wage theft, when in reality, Blair simply deducted taxes out of his earnings and other claims. Throughout Wonderstruck's video, he never mentioned that Blair stole anything from him and only stated that she repossessed the car. To muddy the waters even further, Blair included words like quote and other claims unquote which pointed out nothing specific, leaving things open for interpretation, a shady tactic that would come back to bite her down the line. For now, Oz would file a motion to dismiss Blair's lawsuit and as you'd expect, it was very compelling, reading, Plaintiff's complaint fails to articulate the alleged defamatory statements made, recluding any finding that such statements are plausibly, provably false or defamatory. The amended complaint further fails to identify any confidential or propriety information that was misused by defendant Oz Media. So she just walked up to you while you're just standing there holding your sign. Sweaty as hell, hot, tired, feet hurting. Plaintiff's entire amended complaint should be dismissed for failure to state a claim upon which relief may be granted. The document further debunked Blair's complaint by highlighting obvious issues, such as the majority of the facts being irrelevant to her claims of defamation, and the ones that had any relevance lacked substantial evidence to support them. In addition, Oz's lawyer stressed that Blair shouldn't be offered another chance to amend her complaints, since she already failed to do it before. What followed was a response from Blair's lawyer that basically reiterated irrelevant facts and further accused Oz of ruining her career, reading, These false allegations have severely impacted plaintiff's reputation in the YouTube community. Plaintiffs were well-respected documentarians, a reputation which is waning if not all destroyed due to defendant Oz's actions. Even now, Blair Type refuses shit. to take accountability for destroying her career or provide reasonable evidence to prove her erroneous claims. All she was doing was pointing fingers at her former friends and hoping the court would rule in her favor. Unfortunately for Blair, things weren't going to be that easy easy, as Oz's lawyer pointed out an outdated case law that her argument was built on. While the judge didn't act on Damn. Oz's motion to dismiss yet, they would acknowledge that Blair had failed to prove reasonable evidence to support her claims of defamation, and demanded that she would file a second amended complaint with sufficient evidence within 14 days. Reading, it is ordered, within 14 days, plaintiff may file a second amended complaint. All defamatory statements by all defendants shall be set out verbatim. You'd think with such leniency and clear instructions, Blair would get her act together and present a reasonable argument. But you'd be wrong. Not only did she fail to submit the amended complaint within the allotted 14 days, but God she added dang. even more unrelated facts along with more vague allegations. In Blair's amended complaint, she added extra details about her time with the three defendants and reinforced okay. how their respective posts had damaged her online reputation. Regarding Oz, Blair claims that during her recovery from surgery, he convinced her to give him six months of mortgage payments upfront because the bank was going to 
to foreclose on the house they were living in. But what makes things even stranger, Blair claimed she didn't remember any of this due to the painkillers she took post-surgery, but stated that her sister and her friend did remember, so she went along with it. Blair later confronted Oz about the mortgage payments, claiming that Oz agreed to repay the money that was quote wrongfully coerced from her over two years. This was around the time that Oz found out she'd moved on to someone else, and Blair assumes that it motivated him to start a plot with Wonderstruck to ruin her career, reading, Miss Blair is under the information and belief that it was around the time that all defendants began plotting to effectively ruin Miss Blair's business, reputation, and life. When referencing Oz's recent video on her, Blair asserts he made defamatory statements when he stated, I even offered to work in a crypto farm for free to pay back the date, to which Blair and her lawyer stated, quote, These statements were defamatory because they were misrepresentations of the facts, which caused Miss Blair and Pyramid to be hated, ridiculed, shamed, and harmed plaintiff's business. These statements had the tendency to imply that Miss Blair engaged in financial coercion, causing some form of indentured servitude. All Blair was doing was recounting unrelated fuck? events and drawing correlation to the demise of her career without any solid proof. Sadly, Wait, what? this pattern would bleed into her statements about Wonderstruck and Felix. With Wonderstruck, Blair rehashed the issues they had over the car she leased to him and stated that after she took her back, he posted information and sparked outrage against her. As for Felix, Blair repeated the claims that sharing Discord screenshots was a breach of contract and part of their campaign to damage her image. Blair also accused Felix of making defamatory tweets when he said she uses the word retard in private. Reading, <laughs> defendant Felix asserts that Miss Blair, though she publicly disapproves of the arsler, uses it in private. This statement carries a defamatory meaning because it implies that Miss is both a hypocrite and a bigot. What followed <laughs> were new motions to dismiss from Bro, both Oz and Felix, which poked even more holes in Blair's law lawsuit. Wait. Cost special damages by the fact that planning revenue from videos dropped about 50%. Damn! 37,000 in a period of, to 19,000 during that same period a year later. Damn! Damn. You were from making 40k? Was that a month? From May to June? To 20k in a month? A year later? I ain't gonna lie, gang. That's tough. That's tough. It is, but I mean, at the same time, I mean, if you're being a shitty person, then I guess it doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe not be shitty to people? Like, you didn't think that, about that as a, like, you didn't consider it as an option? with Felix's motion to dismiss, he indicated that throughout her lawsuit, Blair failed to indicate any instance where he breached the company's NDA, reading, The second amended complaint alleges one instance to support plaintiff's breach of contract against Mr. Felix, which relates to turning over private messages between himself and Ms. Blair that have nothing to do with proprietary information. The original complaint, the first amended complaint, and the second amended complaint all fail to identify any confidential or proprietary information that was misused by defendant Felix. Oz's motion would go more in depth on how Blair blatantly ignored the court's order to state the exact defamatory statements he made. It was obvious to everyone that Blair didn't have a case against any of the defendants, but she still pushed to make another response. In the response to Felix's motion to dismiss, Blair tries to pass off her messages to him as propriety instructions from her company, reading, It's worth noting the conversation was private. That means the information and data were not generally known outside the company. The disclosed conversation revealed instruction from the owner of Pyramid to a Pyramid employee regarding the use of Pyramid's data. Remember, the raw footage Blair asked Felix to go through wasn't specific to her company, but was shared by all members of Sad Milk, not to mention that the conversation in question was long before he started working for Blair. In essence, Blair was trying to present a simple order as top secret company information to give her case some legs to stand on. Blair's arguments would only get more unreasonable when she addressed Oz's motion to dismiss. All you have to do is look at the first few paragraphs. This case exists because plaintiff Blair began dating someone new and her ex-boyfriend, defendant Oz, did not like it. Rather than respect her choices, defendants began a social media revenge campaign against her by publishing false and harmful statements about her and her once lucrative business. That's actually- <laughs> She said this nigga's jealous? Oh, Oz, bro. That nigga good. The uh, what's, what's that nigga shit called? Oh, he made a- Oh, fuck. This nigga made a- Oh, this- Damn. Oh, it looks like he's still in the same crib, though.
because Oz or Wonderstruck wanted revenge, but it's a petty ploy to shift the blame and grasp the straws, filing a restraining order against them. Back in March 2002, this included <laughs> Oz's motion to dismiss, crazy. along with two civil three, an alleged Blair had suffered, quote, stalker, making defamatory statements against her and this was crossing the line. In a failed attempt to it, if I, God forbid, hurt Jasper, why to publicly bite my tongue on so many of the claims she's made? That is a, that is a low key, like, you know, that's insane, bro. You could just tell she's out of some sense of revenge. Blair. Yeah, if her, if her dad, that'll make it better. Because then, like, that'll be like an adrenaline. Welcome viewers' heartstrings in her apology yep. video. But next, so? tell what facts she'll pervert next in her bid for revenge. Uh, that hasn't stopped her from trying to bend the legal system, filing one basis claim after the other in an attempt to her new channel at some of the revenue she rightfully lost in her favor. But it should be noted, I am not a lawyer and do not have much in America's legal system. I am simply with a grain of salt. Penguin Zero's theory on her running another YouTube channel with an AI clearly knows how to get popular on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And if she can channel, she would likely still be successful and on her oh, way yeah. to 2 million subscribers. Instead, she's wasting time and resource employees. But sadly for her, the only life she's going to end up ruining. I would continue uploading on my main channel. Upload on that bitch. And I would have a second channel on one topic on main channel. And then like stagnate the uploads. Like if I'm uploading once a week, like, every Monday, maybe every like Thursday or something. And then go like that. Now I'm dropping two videos a week. Skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? You can get like a Spanish channel or some shit in there. Like... June 2024, okay. everything would change. Titled Big Lawsuit Victory for Illuminati, the, despite being made on YouTube. The judge's decision came as a surprise to many, considering the public nature of the I can't help feeling like judges who have no concept of how from the well judges without any YouTube literacy preside over attention had garnered online by denying Oz's to proceed, giving her a small victory in the ongoing for computer fraud in the second amended complaint. It seems the judge has granted Blair an unusual level of a winning court. It's important to remember that this is not necessary. The case will still need to be determined at a trial, where both sides will have the opportunity to support their claims. Regardless of the outcome, one thing remains certain. The fall of Illuminati will go down as one of the biggest downfalls in YouTube history. And I, I will continue covering the updates on the situation. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty interesting situation going on. Um... Only pyramids in Illuminati built were pyramid schemes. <laughs> it's going more obvious about how oblivious the social media the judge in this case is. Even if she somehow won an appeal, every trial would be widely different. In this case, it removes this is fine with evidence. Or it's going to make why not? Well, it's going to make the judge look like a competent idiot for giving her so much legal aid. I no way can already present this much proof against a competent lawyer would easily rip her the ribbons. I hope she gets what's coming to her. Threatening a YouTuber whose name is literally legal, evil, legal action is crazy. Facts. Yeah, she just... Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's a it's a weird situation to be in. And it's also, like, kind of shitty for her to, like... Oh, and, and the fact that she even won that shit, bro. Now it's, like, it's giving her even more, like... It's giving her confidence that she shouldn't have, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Hey, Brad, look, I'm looking forward to the updates and shit like that. If we get another one in like eight months or a year from now, whatever. This is, uh, this is quite the ongoing battle. I, I honestly thought it was over. I thought it was over like eight months ago whenever the last video came out. But for some reason, this is continuing to happen. So she got a small victory and it's not looking good for the other side. But if they go to trial, then it might be GG's for though. So, you know what I'm saying? Type shit.